trespass from this location. I just need my kids. You're welcome to look at this order. They've been out of state, out of school, and my husband's we're, we're, lied to everybody. I'm sure he lied to the cop last night. So this is my We've order. been in contact with... Do you have a victim's advocate I can speak to? Okay. Right, Melanie, so where did you get this order from? So this is our um, mediation order. Okay. We also have another copy of the original um, copy of the court. Um, this is my time with the kids. My husband's been hiding with them over a month oh, out of yeah. state. We talked to you the other day, right? Yes. So I asked for you. somebody to come in and okay. check in on them to just make sure they're safe because uh -huh. my husband will, or my ex-husband will not talk to me. So we told you they were safe yesterday, right, on the phone? You said, said that on, on the phone, the but they're, they are supposed to be in my custody right now. Yeah, they are. There's no okay, hey, hey, right now, we're working through something else, okay? Uh, so yeah, if you just want to step inside, we'll come talk to you in a has, moment, okay? He said he's had a protection order against him, and there was nothing. I've not, never been served with anything. Um, so, he's, he's lied to everybody, and he kind of so does what, this. So what were you wanting to happen tonight, coming over here? Were you going to try to take the kids away from them, or what's not, going on? No, I'm not taking I'm just trying to show that I was going to bring this copy to them and say this is my time with the kids. Had them out of state, and he's been lying. To, everyone's protecting them. Like I know, they're nice. My in-laws are nice people, but they've been lied to, saying that there's a protection order in place, and there isn't. My kids are. I'm worried they're in danger because I, I'm. My husband's been doing a lot of things that <sighs> cause me to worry. Um, he says he was shot at a month ago, um, and then he went into hiding, and no one in Arizona has seen him for weeks or my children, and he kept them out for over a month with truant absences. I asked an officer to just come over here last night to just make sure they're safe, and he said, I can't do a, a welfare check or a wellness check so did for you some reason. So did you not hear me when I, I, I was talking, we were talking to you on the phone the other day and said, we came here because you were here. We came here, we checked on the kids, they were okay. Are you okay. talking about yesterday or yeah. the day before? The day before. The day before. I heard, so, and I had to call in because I didn't know if that was, I just heard something on speaker. I didn't hear everything I heard that if I, it wasn't super clear, and so I called in the next day and I said, can you? I don't want to have to go over there again. Can you send an officer to come check in? Came over here anyways when we told you. Well, I have a. Well, I have a legal. Right. Well, my children are inside and they're that, probably in danger. They're they're probably in danger. You know that for sure. Like. Well, I know what my ex is capable of, and he sent. He has a lot of evil people working with him. So I just I just wanted to make sure my kids were safe last night, and the so, officer. So do you that. So I need to speak to a right. victim's advocate. Okay. Can, but you you were trespassed, correct? Remember that on the phone? I I asked you if you understood. You said I, that you did. So, okay. so you understand the trespass, right? Yes, but I believe with my order, I can come and just get my. I'm not nope. going no. in. No, that's not, not how that works. Nope. I'm just coming You're trespassed in. Trespass from the property. You being on the lawn right now is a violation of that trespass. Well, I can get off. Well, it doesn't really no, matter no. now. I'm I'm not trying now to, run, get a to run and take my. Kid. I'm just trying to be peacefully trying to do what's right and what's in my order. Is the order from Arizona? Yes, it is. They're illegally out of state right now. Like, they, he's keeping them out of school for over a month. I've been searching for them. I don't know what else to do. I asked someone to just come over and see if they're safe okay. last night. And they, Carlson probably scared them off saying there's a protection order and there's no protection order. We can go and look everything up right now. Okay. I haven't seen or talked to my kids. I have a two-year-old, four-year-old, a six-year-old. And a nine-year-old, and they haven't seen their mom for over, and I, my husband's been doing drugs, and he's... Well, this is probably not the best way to go about it, right? To come here and try to... I tried asking if an officer could just I make sure they're that. safe. I mean, we told you. But I, I was safe, told, right? I have a mediation, I have this court order saying it's my time with the kids. If I know where they're at, I can go and get them. No, so, so you can't come over here and forcefully take them. I'm not forcefully, uh, I'm just knocking, saying I was going to give them an order them because out, I know right? they've been lied to, saying okay. there's a, a well, protection. But that's something that you're going to have to take up with the courts, right? Like you told me the other day. You're going to have so to go to I don't know if they're safe, and I feel like they're in danger. We and can I mean, go in there and check and see if they're safe. If you and then can, we can sir, come back here, and we can tell you sir, they're you safe. Can. Stop talking. Stop talking, okay? We can go in there, check if they're safe, but we already trespassed you from this property, saying you can't come back here. And what did do, you came back here. And it doesn't matter if you got this piece of paper. We told you not to come back here, and you come back here, and you're upsetting everybody, and now it's just a whole freaking problem. So your whole thing is here is just, you want to come here and check if they're safe? You want a welfare check on them? Yes, sir. Yeah?
That's my uttermost concern. I just want to make sure. I understand that the state of Utah takes kids, kid abuse and stuff like that really seriously. So the thing that you need to do right now is you have to go to the courts. You need to run the right way. You need to have the court request in. Playing video games, watching pros. They're fine. Figure out a custody exchange or what's going on. And this, from what I'm hearing, this isn't even official. No, it's not. So get that shit out of here. Yeah. So let's give her a freaking citation for trespassing and move on. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Did you talk? Everybody's safe. Everybody's safe, and that's not even binding or legal yet. So, quite frankly, if because it hasn't been signed and it hasn't been submitted by your by your mediator, okay. It, so it facts are, answer? facts can are. It, no, answer? I don't want to see it. I actually don't want to see it. Facts are, is I think you should get a okay, citation yeah. right now for trespassing, okay. and then we should move on. Okay. Do you want me to do it for you, Goody? It's fine. Do you have her info? Yeah, it's our case anyway. So we're good. It's up to you. Follow up on it. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you want. It's our case. So. Okay. Um, just hang out here. Let's go grab our car. And Case and Sir? Yeah. Officer, um, how do you know that it has not been submitted to the court system? Because apparently that's the conversation that your husband had with the mediator. So, so if I pull up the su superior court and it shows record that it has been, that's, that's the story he's been telling, sir, but that's not the truth. Okay. I mean, do you have an actual record that says, sir. yeah, it's, it's valid right now? Sir. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, you're not going to get the kids out of here tonight anyway. Sir, I just want to make sure they're safe. They're safe. I just saw all four of them. Do you, yeah, but do you have their pictures? Like, how do you they're know it wasn't a cousin? How do I know it wasn't a cousin? Do you know what their pictures look like? Do I know what their pictures look like? Well, I don't know what the kids look like, but... So how do you know that was them? How do you know that that... How, there's four kids in there because that... The, the officer right? said that all four what of was my it? children... A two... Was it a two-year-old? A four-year-old? A six-year-old? And a nine-year-old? Right? Three boys, one girl? Two boys, two, two boys, two girls. 
The younger what, what, you was the uh, was the youngest one a girl? Yes. And then so that I mean your two and your is your four year old a girl? No, boy. Boy. Blonde, curly hair, dimples, blue eyes. Yeah, no, well, they're all in there. Is right? There that... I'm not gonna go start snapping pictures of kids. Okay. I just, how, but there have cut tons of cousins over there. How do I Oh there's tons of cousins over there? Right now, you know for a fact there's tons of cousins in over there. You can argue with me all day, you're not gonna win. Okay? There's four children in there that are happy and healthy. Okay? Two of them are playing Fortnite, the other two are watching Frozen. Is there anything else you want to know? But the facts are is you can't even be here. By our so Where is it at? Just take, it's right here. Let me I'm see it. To show it to you. It doesn't matter. I mean, again, it still doesn't matter. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just I'm here. I'm going to do whatever I want. I know. Like, you the facts are is that. <laughs> I get it. The facts are is that, like, like, I'm not just going to go in there and remove the kids from the home. You do whatever you want. I don't. So, if it was filed on October 22nd. Yes, sir. Why, Why am I here now? Are you here now? Sir, on October 16th, our mediator went into file, and then Brandon went into hiding with my children. They've been out of state for over a month, out of school, and they I've been looking for them everywhere. Somebody said that they've seen Brandon, but not the kids, so I don't know if he's split them up different places. Their schools have unenrolled them now. He's not supposed to take them out of state, and he... He's broken everything in this agreement. He's lied and said that it hasn't been filed, and then he lied and said he has a protection order. And there's nothing that has been filed, and we can look it up. I have it on my phone as well, the Superior Court. that so whether or not I mean obviously it, obviously it may be filed. filed or it may it not be filed. filed I don't know I, whatever sir I sent an officer right. here last night to do a welfare check and they completely and then he said I'd be happy to go do it and then he called me and said started like the tone totally changed like he they're they've been lying about what orders are in place they're legally not supposed to be out of state right now. They're not. I, might, I don't even know if Brandon is there. They're not even in the care of either of their legal guardians right now. Yeah, but they are safe. But they are safe and they're taken care of. So we're not just going to go in there and remove them from the house. Even though they're not with a legal guardian. They're Absolutely not. In laws that Absolutely state. not. Okay. No way. No way. I mean, you guys got all this other stuff going on. Like, if the kids are safe, we're not going to take them out of the house. It's just that simple. And furthermore, it's it's a civil problem that we can't do anything about anyway. Does that make sense? Like, this is a custody thing. There's not much we can do with custody. All we can do is document that there's a custodial so interference, and that's if, it. If there's a way to get a picture, just make sure that they're there and safe. I'm not going to go in there and disturb them anymore, okay? They already don't want to see a cop, Okay. Don't they want don't want to see a cop. If he kept to this order, we wouldn't be doing All this right, way. but I'm not going to go in there and stir okay. things up even more. I'm their mother, and I haven't I know. talked to them for a month, and you won't I even get let it. me know for sure if they're safe. I, don't I know just let you know for sure they're safe. I don't know if those are cousins over there, Oh, uh, There's nobody else in that house. There's nobody else in the house. So if you're telling me that you you so know for a fact any, there's 15 people in there? that house right now having some sort of family get-together, you're out of your mind because there's not anybody else in that house. Nobody. And honestly, your best your best option right now is to probably just stay away from here. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up yes, in jail. 
at some point in time, we'll just end up taking you to jail. Probably not before my ex-husband with everything he's doing, so. Okay. There's honestly that custodial things, there's like nothing that we can do about it. Nothing. I, I understand. Not a thing. It's sad. It's honestly sad, but I understand. I get that it's sad, but you can't, you can't all come over here. One, when they've, you've been told not been to. Kidnapped. Two, they're not kidnapped by their own parent. The he parent has just as there. much right to them the as you do. There, though. No, he doesn't. It legally says that it's my time with them. He's been hiding with them out of state. He legally has broken everything in here. You got, are you guys still married? No. Well, then you guys have both have got conflicting stories, and at right, this and point, I have proof. I'm not they're up with stories. I'm telling you the truth. They're in a safe home, and I'm not gonna. I, I'm just not gonna remove them. Nobody's gonna remove them. So you can sit here and argue and do all that stuff, and bring this guy over here, but it's not gonna do you any good. I have a family member with me. Where are you staying safe. right now? Where are you living? I live in Chandler, Arizona. How long have you been out here for? In Utah? Yeah. I came out here on Tuesday, and then I drove several hours away because I don't want to be around around here, and I'm trying to just figure out the right thing to do. We're several we're several hours where? Where did you drive to? I drove to Idaho and then back. You literally drove to Idaho yesterday? It was four or five hours. And then back? Yes, sir. I, I right. got my order, and I came back because... It legally says it's my time with the kids. And okay. He's broken everything in here. All so right. you can look at this and say they're not to be removed from the state of Arizona I, or out I, of school. And they are, I believe so. it. Okay? I believe it. But I think you guys have some deeper problems going on right now. Sure. And my, I and just want to make sure that it is my four children there and that they're safe. But here's the thing. Is I'm not going to do anything to make the situation worse. Nobody's going to do that. Okay? I'm not going to go in there and parade around taking pictures of these kids, you know. I can show you a just, picture and you can just go make sure it's them. Show me a picture. Okay. Show me a picture of all four of them. I've seen all four of them. Okay. So, show me a picture. This is my daughter. She's watching Frozen. Okay. This is my son. Did the hype for me? <clears throat> this is my daughter. Watching Frozen with your other one? This is my... And that should be the littlest one. Yep. Yeah. He was playing... Fortnite. Okay. With your other boy. Do you guys have a different court date set up or anything? Uh, there's one set for a month away. A month away? Where at? In Arizona? Yeah, Arizona, Gilbert, Arizona. Gilbert? If he's not in the state, though, then we have to file here, though, is what I heard. So it just starts all over, and you yeah. can just keep hiding with my kids. And I, don't know if safe. I mean, to be 100% honest with you, I would just plan on having to come back here for court and just restarting it. Like, that, there's just... You know what I mean? There's just nothing else that... We just can't do that stuff. We can't. I know. I, like, just, legally, I can't go in there and remove those kids. I just... I can't do it. 
I don't want to make a scene. Like, I just, like, this whole, I know. this whole thing sucks. Like, they literally make it impossible, like, for a mother yeah. to, like, I've it done is. everything legally right. I know. And he's lied to everybody, and I, I've done everything right. The facts are. Only everyone who's helping him hide thinks there's a protection order. Well, is everything has been a lie. I just, I would love to speak to a victim's advocate and see what my options are. I just. Alex Cox, you know his date of birth, by chance? Um, I don't. You don't? I'm sure he'd be happy to give it to you. Okay, all right. What is it, dude? Welfare check? Welfare check, but there's a medical and heritage care where the guy went. Oh, okay. All right, Melanie. Today you're going to be receiving a citation What's the medical? for criminal trespass. Did they say I'm just seven year old at Heritage Care. Can I have you sign in? It's not an admission of guilt. Just acknowledging that you're given a copy of the citation. Okay. You'll also be provided a copy of your son. Okay. Would you like to sign the citation? Well, like 5 day 40. <laughs> if I have to, do I have to sign it? You don't have to. Yeah, I don't. I don't have to. You can assign that medical to me. You just advise me if fire needs me to respond. It all depends on the judge. I mean, sure. I mean, if, if I. You sign it. I just, I don't. 540, can you give me the patient like, status, please? Since I had a legal order, so I don't understand all that. Yeah. Because lawyer, I told you you're not allowed on that property over the phone. Right, but if my understand. kids were in there. It doesn't matter. We can yeah. I understand now. Day, I know, okay. I'm not trying to argue, so I'll just choose not to say. Okay. Let's grab her fingerprint real quick. We'll get that. Copy. What's up, Al Alex? Yeah. Do you have your ID on you, man? Yeah. Let me get that from you real sure. quick. Can I open the door? I just got to... Yeah, just yeah, if you need to. In my back pocket. Just keep your hands out where we can see them, all right? No problem. Yep. I'll move slow. Awesome. All right, man. Have a seat. We'll be right sure. back, okay? Go ahead. Copy. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Idaho's a big change. Thanks, Alex. Appreciate it, man.